Hey YouTubers, coming to you today. I'm just, um, I just got this awesome package in the mail that I've been waiting for forever. Um, I'm super excited to share the opening with you, and uh, later on I'm going to do a review on it, um, probably in a few parts because I don't know how how in depth I'm going to get. But I wanted to open the box now, show you what it is. Um, just let you, it is from UD Replicas. It is their uh, Batman Arkham Knight suit. So I've been waiting for this for a while. I ordered it last year. Of course, it takes a while to get that. Uh, so I'm going to open it up and show you to you now. So let's do this. Super careful here. I don't want to cut anything. Oops. Now, full disclosure, I actually had a suit from them a long time ago. Um, they were when they originally first got the Dark Knight, Batman Dark Knight suit. I ordered one of those one time. I unfortunately don't have it still. Um, but it was a great suit. I uh, had it temporarily. Uh, fit well. Its quality was amazing on it. So I don't expect anything less here. From what I understand, David, the owner of the company, if you do grow up with this, um, said that this has sunk far, far past anything that he could have imagined how well it came out. So. Um, he's really excited to get it out there too. So we'll start with this. Everything's always packed very well with them. Um, that's the great thing about UD Replicas. The other bit thing comes in these cloth bags here that are sealed up, sizing on the outside. Um, this here, not sure what it is, but let's find out. Together. Draw strings on there. over here. This looks to be ah, these are the pants. These are the pants. Very well made. Of course they've got a zipper around here around the edge so you can attach the jacket to the pants so it doesn't ride up on you. Um, whether you're riding a motorcycle or using it as costuming. Again, full disclosure, I'll probably be doing custom. I don't really have a motorcycle. My wife won't let me have it. Got two zippers here, some buttons. Makes it a little bit easier to get into. And your fly area, and then we go to the restroom, I guess. I'm not sure if I'll suit it up. It's got that wonderful, it's got that wonderful smell to it, that leather smell. It's all brand new leather. Um, very well. They do have padding inside here. I believe it's rated. Um, might take those out, I'm not sure. Straps for the ankles, so it doesn't ride up on you when you have your boots on. So yeah, very awesome. So let's move on. It says 44, That's, they are, the company is based in Canada. Um, check them out, it's udreplicas.com. They have all kinds of things, not just um, Batman stuff. They have the Dark Knight, um, they have the Nomex suit. Um, of course, this the Arkham Knight suit. Um, they've got GI Joe is a is, is something that they make too, like a Snake Eyes and a Cobra Commander. They also um, have some Wolverine jackets, things like that. So there's lots of cool things on there. Definitely go check them out. All right, so just the boots, size 44 in Canadian. Apparently a size 10 because that's what I ordered in U.S. Oh, this is just awesome. So you can see they built in the leg gauntlets into the actual boot itself. Um, detail is just amazing on this stuff here. All kinds of things. I'm sure they're got a heavy duty zipper here on the side. You can get in and out of it really easily. I'll of course explain the comfort and everything when I review it later on. So, but really well done. That one, I'll put the other one out just to have them side by side real quick. And here they are, next to each other. And up here, so you can probably see them a little bit better. Excited to see how comfortable those are. Put this side. All right, next. This, I would believe, is the belt. Another cool thing about UD replicas is when you're sizing is super important. If you're going to order from them, sizing is incredibly important. Um, so much so that the owner, David. Um, suggest that you actually call him. Um, you take your measurements, do all your measurements, um, 
and they have a guide on their website, so definitely do that. Go to their guide, take all the measurements, write them down, and then give them a call. And actually, it's pretty cool because the owner himself actually answers the phone most of the time. Um, and I've talked to David. I talked to him the first time on the Dark Knight suit. He helped me quite a bit. And I actually talked to him on this one. And he'll ask, He'll first question he'll always ask is, what are you using it for? Are you using it for writing or are you using it for costuming? Because that makes a big difference. So know ahead of time what you're going to use it for on that. And that will determine a lot of what um, you're going to be able to do and what sizing he gives you and suggests to you. So from what I understand, it's very accurate. And I'll, of course, I'll let you know more about that in a little bit. But from what, from what I've heard, calling him is definitely a key to making it right the first time. All right, so this is the belt. Okay, this thing's pretty cool. This has the functional belts. So you have, I think, four of these functional pockets here that you can put things like keys and things when you're wearing it. Um, looks just like the, it's the replica buckle there. It's just like from the game. Go around. Of course, it'll fit outside of the jacket there. And I believe I got extra large. I think on the belts they tell you to go a size bigger, so I'm pretty sure that's what this is supposed to be. Uh, so it actually says large, so might be a little issue there, but I'll, I'll find out later on that one. Might have to contact them on it. <coughs> Let's go next. <coughs> next is going to be the gloves, I assume. out here. Alright. Basic motorcycle gloves kind of is what they look like. Of course they're designed right after the right off of the game designs. Uh, they're really Fairly comfortable too. Nice set of gloves. And your knuckle guards here. Uh, got some ventilation here and everything. So when you're riding, and for those of you who want to ride, you'll um, have that cool air going in there, which is really nice. But yeah, very comfortable. Very useful. Let's see how those work later. That's two of those. And let's see. Now the main piece, the, the jacket. This one's super exciting. They did a picture online. Um, David posted a picture on Facebook, and I'll try to put it up in the video here. That showed a comparison of what the video game looked like and what the actual the final jacket looked like and how close it was. And you kind of really had to look because it almost looked like the same thing. It was really awesome. But the detail that they put into this is incredible. And I can tell you right now. What I see is just that. Move out here. Get this stuff off of here. And wow, just it's absolutely well made. The detail that they have in this is incredible. This is actually pretty hard. It's all leather again, which is really cool. You can see the detail in the back there. Emblem on the front. You have your gauntlets. Some of these are going to, so you can undo these when you're putting them on to make it easier to slide into. Kind of went a little bit smaller on the, um, the fins on the gauntlets, which I think is better because the original prototype, I think they, were, they looked a little big and gaudy, but uh, I think they did a good job of that. Um, the other cool thing is this chest piece here actually comes off. So if you didn't want to wear the actual chest piece for the bat, I believe you have to take it off anyway to get in and out of the jacket. I'll put it with two hands here. There we go. More down here. And they're adjustable. The straps are adjustable here. It just velcroed on and off. So you can see that piece there. And then there's the jacket. So anyway, I'm gonna try it on, see how it goes, and then I'm gonna probably
probably do a review a little bit later and post that. So until then, um, check out their site, udreplicas.com. And if you like this, subscribe and, and like the video below. Uh, hopefully I can do a lot more of these in the future. So thanks. Bye.